In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to start with a video or audio file for that matter and then have Storyline create the captions for us. So let's go ahead and see how that works. I'm going to insert a blank slide, which I have here. And the first thing I want to do is insert a video. And I happen to have this short Articulate Culture video. It's about two minutes, so it works perfect for our demo. So I'm going to insert video. Just go to Insert Video. Uh, so we've got our video. Now what we want to do is create some captions. So we're going to go up to the Add Captions box up here. We'll click on that. And what Storyline is going to do is it's going to analyze that media. And, and in this case it's the video file. And it's going to look at the waveform and it's going to create these placeholder caption boxes. And what I can do is go into the caption box and as you can see it says type a caption. So pretty straightforward. So Storyline analyzes the waveform, kind of guesstimates uh, where the caption should be, and then you can add your captions in there. Now it doesn't have to be perfect for you because you have the option of up here you can insert additional captions, you can split captions, you can delete captions. Uh, you'll see as we work in here you can move them around. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the process of actually uh, adding a caption. So I'm going to turn my audio up so you can hear the audio. So if I click in a caption box, Storyline is going to start playing the caption. Articulate. Now you can see it stopped. Uh, if I hit Enter, when it gets to the end of the box, it's going to restart. Articulate. Articulate. So at Articulate. And I hit Tab to go to the next one. Or able. Part run course. Or Shift able. Tab to go backwards. So it sounds like you are able. Part run course. To chart your own course. Grow and become an expert. Grow and become an expert. Now you'll notice that the audio quit playing when I started typing. If I wanted to keep playing, I just go ahead and hit enter. Grow and become an expert. Okay, that sounds good. So it's all about how much you put into it. Everyone has now this is now this is an interesting one, right? So you can see it's pretty straightforward. You click into the box. You listen to it, you type in, um, and then you tab and go to the next one. If you want to come back, go shift tab or just click into the box. If you want it to replay, just hit enter. Now, uh, sometimes you'll get these captions. So you can see the waveform kind of shows, okay, short caption, short caption, short caption, and then kind of longer text because it's uninterrupted. And then here's a really long one. Now, this is a good example of where you might want to do some editing. So, for example, when we're looking at this caption, we actually transition between two people. So at this point, well, let's move the playhead over here. So at this point, we have the man. And then we come over here, and that's actually Brian. And then now we have Rachel. So um, somewhere in there, there's a transition. Now I can have one big long caption box, but it may look weird to have overlapping caption where he's talking and then she's talking. So a couple things I can do. Uh, one is I can select the caption, and I can figure out where I want to split it. And we'll just um, let's just guesstimate. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not doing lip syncing, right? So we can say, okay, here's a good place to split. And I'm going to split the caption. And so now I've got a caption it's box all, for all Brian. And then I have a caption box for Rachel. Everyone has their area that they're. And. Um, so what's awesome is the. So you can see how that works. Now, if you ever want to nudge the captions, you can do that. You can click on the caption and drag it, right? You can extend it. You can bring it in. And you can kind of see. Uh, it shows you where the playhead is going to be when it ends. So this is a good one. Like if I want to take this one and move it away, and I can take this and I can say, okay, I'm going to move it to right at the end of Brian. And that's about right there. And then I'm going to move this here. And this will be right at the start of Rachel. I can butt them up if I want to. But essentially that's it. You insert the video. Have Storyline automate the captions for you. You have the boxes. You just type in your text. And if you need to do some editing, you can do that. And when you're all done, just hit Save and Close. If you want to, you can export that text so you always have that in the VTT format. And then you can always do some editing outside of Storyline if you need to do that. Hope that helps.